Hello everyone and welcome to Jojo's Break Time! Let's take a look at this model ship. This is the JM Bricklayer White Swan ship. 65 US dollars and you get free shipping which is pretty cool. Um, box is a bit damaged but that's alright we don't keep the box. Let's see what we get and we get this bag full of goodies. So there's like sails in there and let's see how many bags come in this. I like that they're all numbered nicely so it's going to make it easier to build. Now I think there's six bags all up plus the sails bag and you get 1,672 pieces in this set so that's quite a lot of parts. So the instruction book this looks pretty good and what just fell out? What have we got? Stickers. They look pretty cool. They are fiddly to put on so you've got to be patient when you apply these stickers. Let's see these instructions. Now this is for the experienced builder this set. So you got to be at least 12 plus I think to build this. There's quite a lot of involved building skills in it. Let's see what we get in this bag. What are these? Oh they look like links of some sort. Oh no don't tell me I got to put chains together. <laughs> and oh the sails these feel really nice. So one side's like a belt and the other one's smooth. So here's all the stuff that's included which is a lot. Jay and Bricklayer have a new members program so every dollar you spend you get a point so if you buy this ship you get 64 points and it's worth $6.40 so that's off your next purchase that you like so it's pretty cool. This looks like a pretty interesting set to build. Alrighty let's build! We're just going to take a look at these parts because I'm pretty interested in them. So they look okay. They feel a bit different to Lego and I think their clutch power is going to be super strong. So this won't fall apart. Now I just wanted to show you there are a few areas where the bricks are... I don't know. Then they're, they're not like the other bricks I've had but they're still good quality if that makes sense. Let's start the bottom of this ship. So this is the area underneath and this ship will actually have wheels on it so you'll be able to move it around. So, ex so it's not just a display piece, you can play with it. What I really like about this set, and it's a model ship set, is normally when you get sets from like hobby shops, you gotta like pull things apart and you gotta cut things and glue things. So this is great being like out of bricks that are compatible with Lego, like they all fit well together, but it just is a lot easier to put together. The instructions are pretty clear to read so there wasn't many sections that I struggled with so that's good and this looks incredible displayed so if you like ships, boats, uh, nautical theme, um, model building this is definitely a great set for that it looks really really good displayed like I said before and the fact that you don't need glue, <laughs> it's a bonus. All right, let's continue building this. There is so much detail included on this ship, like there's like the little propeller at the back there. But this is not for your normal minifig size, this is more of the micro scale. You can stick your own minifigs on there if you like, no problem with that. I have done that and my kids have played with it like that and it works perfectly fine. But um, the amount of detail they have added to that scale is incredible. So. 
you'll see a little bit later on they've made like the little area for sleeping quarters and eating like a little decks underneath and they've even made like little um, rescue boats so it's really cool This part here that I have built, this is for the bow, so which is the front of the ship. It is a little bit fiddly to put on, so you've got to do it very slowly, otherwise some parts will fall off. And you need to click the front into place, and you've got to be careful with that too, because it has fallen apart when I tried. Um, you just got to be a little bit more patient and do it slowly, but after you've done it properly it, it actually holds together really really well This is the little interior cabin here, and I think that's the little sleeping quarters maybe Looks like little beds or stools or something under there But see it's micro scale, but really detailed and another one, but this time this is like the little kitchen eating area. So we've got a huge cup here, but then we got this seat. So it's a funny looking shape there. Maybe they try to make it look like a wooden seat, maybe. So I'll just put it all together like so without pulling it all apart. There we go. Hang on. Bits fallen off. Stick it on there. And this fits nicely into the ship, these two pieces. And you can actually lift them up so you can see the details inside. So they are removable.
Okay, I'm up to these link parts and I've just checked I've got to make my own chains. This is going to take me forever. Oh. Anyway, I've made all the chains and that's like the little anchors and I'm just popping them on the side. It's all part of the building experience, I guess. So it did take me a while to link all those up, but it's all good. See how long these ones are. <laughs> anyway, that goes at the front of the ship. Here are the little lifeboats, so detailed. I love how they use that pearl gold colour to make the chains on these. It just makes them look oh, really grand and stand out. They're very detailed. Now I'll be making the three masts and the height of this ship is actually 41 and a half centimetres tall, which is 16.34 inches. So it's quite a large model and the length of it is 66 centimeters or 25.98 inches it is a large model and it looks incredible on the shelf anyway I'm sticking all these sails on I've got to concentrate on how to put all these on and that hurt my fingers because it's quite hard to pop those um, plates in but I'm lining all this up because I want to make it look good these remind me of chicken skewers. <laughs> I'm hungry now. There's some strings also to attach. They have really replicated this ship really well. It actually looks like one of those model ships you get from the hobby shop. So it looks really, really good. And I've got to make sure I put the strings on properly. So I'll be fiddling around with that for a little bit. So that's sort of attached there. I had to pop the little round white tiles on to hold everything in place. There, I fixed it all up. Got to put more string in there. Here is the display stand for the white swan ship. But you know what? I'm going to take this one off because I've got my Jojo's Brick Time one to put in. That looks better. Lots of colour. Let's pop that on and oh my goodness. It sits on there really well. What a ship! The JM Bricklayer White Swan ship. What a model ship. Wow. I love they've stuck wheels on this so you can actually play with it. Kids can sail away around on the floor with this so it's not just stuck on the shelf. So it's really cool. Um, great build. Uh, did take quite a few hours to build. The sails are a little bit difficult to put on so... That was a bit challenging and just making the chains. But apart from that, it looks really great. So highly recommend. So everyone, get your bricks out. 